Hi everyone, it's Miss Amy from Camden Public Library and today we are going to make slime. And not only that, but we're going to make slime that doesn't have glue. That just has things in your kitchen or your household. So I have dish soap, I have cornstarch, and um... Oil. Uh, I'm going to use a little Skin So Soft and see if that works. Uh, it called for the recipe I found called for a, a touch of baby oil if it's too sticky. Um, and uh, I don't have any baby oil because I don't have babies anymore. So, uh, yeah, um, I'm going to try some Skin So Soft, which is actually a bath oil. Um, so, what I am going to start with is a third of a cup of cornstarch. So here's my cornstarch. There's my third of a cup. And for Tinker Tuesday, you know, we'll do a little science and we'll see what happens because you never know. So there is one third of a cup of cornstarch. And I can always add more cornstarch if I decide that it is not, uh, that it's too sticky because I don't want it sticky. Um, okay. So now I'm going to do a quarter cup of dishwashing liquid. And this happens to be Dawn dishwashing liquid. I love using Dawn. I always have Dawn. It's a good grease cutter. It, uh, it makes great giant bubbles when, uh, you mix it with the proper mixture. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there and mix it together and see what we got. So let's see. Let's see what we're going to have. You know, you never know what it's going to, what it's going to be like. So this is cornstarch. Oh, it's goopy. Um, this is, yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, it's a pretty color from the blue um, dishwashing liquid uh, from the Dawn. Uh, but you could use other dishwashing liquid. But you're going to stir it all in really good. And then we'll, we'll test it and see where we're at. We might need to add a little more cornstarch just to, ma ooh, to make sure... Because, yeah, it's definitely a sticky slime. Okay, so I'm going to add just a little bit more um, cornstarch. So let's do it. I'm going to add just a little, just a little bit more. Okay, just a tad. That might be it maybe a teaspoon more and let's see what that does and test it okay looks like frosting but it is not frosting okay so cornstarch and dish soap it is still super sticky so, I'm going to put, yeah, definitely sticky, still sticky, yeah, yeah, let's put a little more, okay, let's see, we don't want it too dry, it's kind of a happy medium, you just kind of keep testing until uh, you get the mixture right. Yeah, it's getting a little thicker. Let's see, it's still not quite there. That's still too, 
It's getting, getting there. I feel like I, like, okay. I don't know, maybe I should have started with more, but it's actually better that you test it. You know, you, you put a little bit, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, now. All right. Okay, so that is better. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that at least is, is coming out of it and not like dripping off the spoon. Okay. Yeah. It's still sticky though. Okay. So, I'm trying to trying to see if this is what I want or whether I want just a little bit more cornstarch. It's getting there. I think maybe just a teeny bit more cornstarch. Okay. Remember, when you tinker and you do science, it is not always an exact science. And also, temperature in a room and the humidity level can also make a difference in how uh, something comes together. So, yeah, that's definitely coming like feeling better, but it's still. So, I'm going to add just a little bit of oil and see if that will make a difference in like whether or not we can pick it up. Okay. Get it stirred in. Yeah, it still is not the right consistency. It's still, oh, it's getting better. It's, it's we're, we're getting there. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit more cornstarch and a little bit more oil. And let's see what that does. All right, so the oil will keep it from sticking, hopefully, and the more cornstarch will make it so that it is firmer. So let's see. Yeah, we're getting there. Oh yeah, now I can touch it without it getting all over me. Okay. All right, so let's see if we have got it. I think we do. I think we do. Is it still? Yeah, maybe just a little bit more oil. Just a teeny bit more. Okay, teeny bit more oil. And let's see. Okay, let's get that in there. I think we got it. I think we are there. Okay, now, now, I'm going to try this. Okay, ooh, feels cool. It's a really neat consistency. But, oh, we have got it. So, we have gotten to a point where the consistency, we're going to fold it. The consistency is a good consistency, but it's still, oh yeah. Okay, get it together. It's actually more like Play-Doh now than slime. But, yeah, because it kind of breaks, so maybe I put a little too much of the cornstarch in, but it's still, I mean, it really f feels good. It's more like a Play-Doh than a slime. So, <laughs> yeah, 
but it's not st it's not really sticking to my hand too bad so that definitely is good um yeah there's a little but it's not really sticking too terribly bad and um yeah it's pretty cool so uh you can store this uh, for a couple days, you can play with it. You could use um, some uh, cookie cutters. Uh, yeah, you could use, you know, you could use a cookie cutter like that and cut it. Um, you could um, roll little balls. Like I could make a, let's see if we can do this. I don't even need food coloring because it's blue. So I could do it like this. So there's one. Let's do it like this. We'll build a little cornstarch snowman. A blue cornstarch snowman. Let's see. There is one. And what if we did this? Ooh, there we go. All right, well, that works. Yeah. Okay, so look at that. So there is a little cornstarch snowman. Uh, you could put little, you could put little arms, you could <laughs> decorate him. That would actually be kind of cool uh, to make a little cornstarch snowman. Uh, yeah, and then you can just play with it, put it in a Ziploc bag, um, and you can probably keep it in the fridge for. Oh, two or three days. But if you see it start to get moldy, uh, which who knows, it might, uh, then it's time to throw it out. Uh, if you want to change the color, then you can put uh, food coloring in it. Um, but uh, if you don't want, you know, like the color to come off on your hands, then you could just use, um, just keep it the way that it is. Um and yeah, uh, it's really, my, it turned out to be more of a Play-Doh because I kept putting cornstarch in because I was worried that it was too, um, too like slimy still. Like it wasn't, it didn't hold its consistency, but now it doesn't, like it doesn't blop, like a slime should blop. Uh, so yeah. Um, test it out, do it yourself, um, try it. It's always fun to try new, uh, experiments and, uh, you can do this with the things in your house. So cornstarch, soap, uh, baby oil, or I used a little skin so soft from Avon, uh, that I happen to have, uh, which is a bath oil, uh, in my cupboard. And yeah. Have fun tinkering. Miss Amy. Happy sliming or Play-Doh-y.